Welcome to my channel, The Learning Destination, and today I am going to show you one troubleshoot on Elasticsearch cluster. Whenever we spin up Elasticsearch cluster inside the AWS, we are getting two URLs. One URL is to access the domain, and the second URL is access to Kibana dashboard. However, when we click on the Kibana dashboard URL, it gives some error, and we cannot able to access that particular the Kibana URL. So understanding from this diagram, whenever we sp uh, spin up one Elasticsearch cluster inside the AWS, and let's suppose that we are accessing through the internet. So in such cases, I'm accessing from my laptop. So whenever I am uh, clicking on particular URL, I won't be able to access that particular Kibana URL. So I'm going to show you if this kind of error happens, how we are going to resolve that error. So firstly, I am going to create one Elasticsearch cluster and I have already the commands ready with me and I'm going to mention this command in the description sections and you can take it from there. You can create manually also and I'm going to create through the command line. Okay, although we are getting this ARN, but actually this is going to take some time if I refresh it. So you can see that the cluster status is loading. So it will take a minimum 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm pausing this video as of now. And once this cluster is active, I will resume on this tutorial. Let's get back on the video and now you can see that the domain status is active and this cluster is successfully active and running now. So if I click on DevOps logs and as I said earlier, there is a two endpoint you are going to get it. One is the for the domain. The second is for the Kibana. So if you click on this Kibana URL, so basically you will be get this message like anonymous user is not authorized to perform to access this URL. And now we are going to resolve this error that uh, what kind of access is needed to access this particular URL. So why I am making the in between, why I am making this video guys, because recently I was doing one practical and I was working on some project and there I need to spin up Elasticsearch cluster. When I spin up the cluster and then I wanted to see the logs through the Kiwana URL and then I got this error. So at that time I faced a lot of issues. I tried to, I, I, I went on the internet. I uh, went through the various blog. Then I watched a couple of videos on the YouTube and, but uh, I, nothing I found which could tell me the point to point answer. And then when I fix these issues, then I thought that, okay, let's make video on this so other can get benefited. And if someone faces the same issues, can get the resolutions from this video. So this is my purpose to making this video. So now, okay, so how you can find out the exact document, although I have already bookmarked uh, the document which is provided by the AWS and which can tell you what kind of a step is needed to resolve this. However, if you can directly copy and search on the Google of this error, the first part you need to click on that. Then these, these are the steps you need to follow. So here there is a, another document which I am going to give in the description sections. I already bookmarked it and this is the link that uh, which I am going to share it. So basically uh, here there is a one policy that we need to apply to it and that policy is the particular the IP based policy. So let me show you the IP based policy. Okay guys, so this is the policy I am going to apply it. And so for that, so generally you are not getting this URL because it is saying that this, whenever I am trying to access, it means that I am trying to access from my laptop. 
So then this laptop is connected through the internet and it has some specific public IP. That IP is not allowed to access this URL. And that is the reason that I am going to apply one policy that can uh, that can grant permission to my public IP to access this URL. And for that, you need to copy this policy. And for that, you need to click here, modify access policy. Then click here and I'm going to make a couple of changes like this. This is not my domain name. And uh, okay, so let me open it another tab as well. Elastic search service. So generally when you go in here, you can take this. Let me copy somewhere. And now you can take this policy, copy, and you can go to modify access policy. You can keep here. Let's make some changes here. and the public IP. So in this documentation, there is already one link. And apart from that, you can check through the Google as well, what is my public IP. And this is the IP that you need to allow it. So you put it here. You submit it. And now when I click here, now you see the magic. Now you can see that I am successfully able to access the Kibana dashboard now. So this is the URL. And uh, now it's fully up and running. And you can see that it's getting loading. And here we go. So now you can see that I am successfully able to access this Kibana dashboard. That's all for this lecture, guys, now. And if you like my videos, then please do like and subscribe my channel. And I will see you in my next lecture. Till that time, thank you so much for watching this. Have a good day.